No, I'll tell you the problem, OK, uh, is the... You know a lot of modern cars now have those headlamps that swivel when you turn the steering wheel? Yes. Do you know why the GTR doesn't have that? Uh, save weight. No, it's because the motors in that sort of headlamp can't keep up with the speed that thing changes direction. Honestly, it's just... Um, it corners faster than electricity. Wouldn't it be great <laughs> to know how fast it'll go around our track? Yeah, problem is, you think it's in Japan. But it isn't. We've flown it 9,000 miles, so it can be here today in the hands of our tame racing driver. Now, some say that he isn't allowed by law within 100 yards of Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> and that he's never seen an episode of Top Gear because he's a huge fan of Midsummer Murders. <laughs> All we know is he's called Bergerac. <laughs> And he's off. Now, remember, this £53,000 car has monstered a 300 grand McLaren round the Nürburgring, but I doubt it will do that here because this is a power circuit. Very tidy through the first corner. Stig's neck, of course, made of weapons-grade titanium. He's planted round Chicago, a little wiggle on the way out, hammerhead. Will the big V6 up front drag it wide? Not a chance. Look at that, the Stig, four-wheel drifting for Japan, even though he thinks it's a fictional place. OK, the follow-through. Bang up the double-clutch gearbox. Sounds like a fighter jet through the tyres. Second to last corner, digital car and analogue animal in perfect harmony. Gambon, super tidy and across the line. Mm. Now. now, I was expecting it to be around here, the Ferrari 430, the Murcielago 122, 123. It did it. 119.7. It's <laughs> a £53,000 four seater saloon car. And it's quicker than Carrera GT, McLaren SLR. Genuinely staggering. <laughs>